you all heard and congratulated the new government on the incredible mandate which it has got. And uh, one of the corollaries of this has been a renewed interest into India's investment sector and infrastructure as a whole and which generally means that a lot of foreign exchange is due to now come in from across the world. And this is due to the optimism which has been generated that policy decisions will be taken and so on. Now what is the meaning or what is the effect of all these dollars suddenly coming into India? So clearly, firstly, in some ways it is a matter of pride for many Indians that you know a lot of dollars come in which basically means that a dollar becomes cheaper. So if it is for example at 60 rupees to a dollar now, it could move up to 56 or even 55 in the foreseeable future. But what would it actually mean? So one of course it starts a virtual cycle. So once the rupee starts strengthening against the dollar, then you actually have more dollars which come in because people suddenly find India to be an attractive place to invest. But it is not as if there is no downside. The most obvious downside is of course that our exports will become less competitive. So what that means is that if somebody was giving one dollar from the US to get some work done in India, earlier he, that would convert into 60 rupees to a dollar. Today, or you know, in like if the exchange rate does indeed move up, it would he would get for example only 57 or 55 rupees to the dollar. Which means that for his one dollar, less work would get done. So there is a uh, there is a number which so it's not scientific. It depends on a number of dynamic factors, and the government has to keep monitoring what is the exact uh, level at which the rupee and the dollar should be for it to be ideal for imports as well as exports, which is actually the right rate for for any exchange currency pair. Now, uh, one of the, uh, if a lot of dollars do actually come in, there are other effects as well. For example, local commodity prices could go up. For example, you know, there is a lot of money which is flowing into the system. So, uh, you know, equity markets could uh, start rising suddenly. You could have, uh, if the money comes into the real estate sector, then you have a boom in the real estate sector as well. And uh, the problem is that this could, technically lead to a bubble if that pricing of the rupee and the dollar is not correct. And when it leads to a bubble then obviously there is a day when the bubble bursts and then the adjustment which goes in after that is extremely painful. So we have seen this in various forms and uh, therefore just having a strong rupee is not really a great solution to all our problems. In India, we have to keep our exports competitive because a lot of our, uh, you know, uh, trade balance is dependent on that, and therefore we should. Uh, the the RBI will actually be forced to buy dollars from the market just to make sure that the rupee and the dollar stay at a correct price, at an ideal price.